Hi! Welcome to Life is Strange. Uh, just picked this up, it's based on Remember Me. Uh, they were... The developers were curious about the idea of the time rewind in that. You may have seen some of my playthrough of that. It was a good game. Um, I like the combat and I like the idea of the time rewind. I figured I'd pick this up as episodic, following on the uh, footsteps of... I want to say Traveller's Tales? Or is that the Lego guys? Uh, Telltale Games, that's right. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd give it a crack and see what happens. Life is Strange is a story-based game. I'll probably just play the first few seconds because it's getting pretty late, but I wanted to upload this and just get it out there and let you know that I'm starting it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> by a French developer. Uh, don't nod. I really like that strong female leader. I've completely forgotten that name. And she's in AMA on Reddit you? as well. Oh, hello. What's happening? Who are you? More importantly. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Well, it's a little bit shadow run. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Oh, I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay, we've got control. Uh, what happens if we go backwards? We can't go backwards. Obviously, we don't go the way that they want us to go in here. But why would you do that? <laughs> That's where they keep all the secret stuff. Alright, can we get off the beaten bar? Kind of pretty. Graphics are a little bit lightweight. I like the style. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you read my mind. What? What? That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, the eye. <laughs> can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Okay, let's look. Because of her images of hopeless faith. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Pieces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Journal, she like saw humanity was tortured, case. right? And I can't no. believe I still have this pencil case. <laughs> I should upgrade to the 21st century. Seriously, take but selfie. I like Come it on. You in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, <laughs> a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Oh. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. 
Uh, uh, sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? What is whoa? Should I see Wambulance? I <laughs> call it Wambulance. Uh, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Okay. I am going to Blackwell Academy. Well, I figure we'll have a bit of a read of that later. Prologue. Okay. People. I'm just skimming through this. I will come back to it properly in the next session. Episode 1, Chrysalis. Alright. Um, okay. Okay. 18. 3 after 4. DTYL. 18 old years. Who's born? Boyfriend? Okay, stalker. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. My little camera bag is battered, but you still can't find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> Very French. Little girls in short skirts. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Where are we? Oh, I guess the third from the right. I like this little artsy style too. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? Good God, pan I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Okay. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that. So cool that we can check these out anytime. Uh, the decisive moment by Henry Cartier Bresson? That's rare. Any leap of its mad respect. The amazing. Huh, this might make a cool shot. I want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Journal? Huh. Okay, is there a mission to get all these pictures? That's pretty cool. Wait, where did I? Episode 1, okay. Paper ball, oh yeah. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. <laughs> Purge. <laughs> okay, so it just... 
that uh, tells you exactly what's on there when you read stuff. What's this chick? Computer. Obviously Blackwell spent bank. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. She's no worries. Emo, isn't she? Let's hang later. Sure. Big head, dark eyes. I think we've seen a oh, hello tablet. Of course. Victoria has to have I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Five thousand three hundred dollars for a camera? Wow. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. That'll give you a little taster of what this is about, I guess. Uh, and what it's like if you wanna play for yourself. It was only three, four pounds on Steam. Um, I'll pick it up properly tomorrow and uh, put in a longer session. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Bye.